totally swear this is better than Christmas morning. I'm not even going to lie. I am so excited right now. And this ridiculous picture is going to look great hanging on the wall beside me for my next videos. You guys will be able to look at that and smile along with me as we research and investigate this case moving forward. This is just like the best thing ever. Frankly, as one of the best days of the year 2020 so far. Just going to throw that out there. You could tell if you're not aware, you would have known by the thumbnail and also by this awesome mug shot, Lori Vallow has been arrested. She was picked up on Thursday afternoon, Thursday, February 20th of 2020. This was not her lucky day. It appears when you go in to look at her case file that these charges were all filed on February 18th, which would have made that on Tuesday. So that appears that while they were island hopping and acting a fool, authorities were like, oh hell no, we're not going to have no part in this shit. They finally busted their ass and got some stuff done, and here we are 48 hours later with her behind bars, looking like this. Before we get into exactly what Lori was charged with, I want to go ahead and dispel one rumor right now. Chad Daybell was never arrested. There were reports initially that he and Lori were separated and each placed in the back of a patrol car, which would not be uncommon at all. It was never at that time whether he was actually taken into custody or if he was just detained for questioning. Justin Lum confirmed via Twitter that Chad Daybell has not been arrested and he was not taken into custody. Right now it appears that all the charges are related to Tylee and JJ and Chad really at this point, doesn't have any involvement with the neglect of the children. I would just wanted to dispel that rumor, make sure you guys have accurate information. But let's go ahead and jump into Lori's charges because there's quite a few of them. Now, if you were part of my live earlier this evening as, we, as this news was breaking, you likely did see this tweet from Justin Lum with the release that came from Kauai Police Department. But I want to go ahead and show it and read it to everybody that didn't see it at that time. It states, the Quiet Police Department arrested 47-year-old Lori Vallow of Idaho on Thursday in relation to an investigation being conducted by the Rexburg Police Department. Vallow was arrested on a warrant issued by Madison County, Idaho, and is currently being held at the KPD cell block on a $5 million bail. Her two children, Tylee and JJ, have not been seen since September. Vallow failed to comply with a court order to produce her children before authorities on January 30th in Madison County. She has since been charged with two felony counts of desertion and non-support of dependent children. She was also charged with arrest and seizure, resisting or obstructing officers, criminal solicitation to commit a crime, contempt of court, willful disobedience of court process or order. Now, during the live, we did a lot of speculating about what some of those charges could be and did she resist arrest during, during the throwdown in Hawaii or what exactly went down. Since my live earlier this evening ended, a press release from Madison County, Idaho has been released and we're going to look at that now because that's kind, it kind of explains further and in more detail what some of these charges are. So from the desk of Robert H. Wood, Madison County Prosecuting Attorney, Lori Noreen Vallow, 46, was arrested today in Princeville, Hawaii by the Kauai Police Department and charged with two counts of felony desertion of a child, as well as misdemeanor charges of resisting and obstructing an officer, solicitation of a crime, and contempt. This complaint filed by the Madison County Prosecutor's Office in Rexburg, Idaho, alleges that Vallow abandoned her two children, delayed law enforcement's attempts to locate her children, and encouraged another individual to delay law enforcement's attempts to locate her children. Additionally, the state alleges that Vallow disobeyed a court order to physically produce her children to authorities in Idaho. Vallow was booked into the Kauai Police Department detention facility and is being held on a $5 million bond pending extradition to Idaho. The maximum sentence on each count of desertion is 14 years in prison. Valo is presumed innocent on each of the charges until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. Now, like we speculated in the live, abandonment to a lot of people in the live chat and to myself means that there's evidence that those children are still alive and well somewhere. 
that's just my opinion. Of course, we don't know too much about how they were able to come to that conclusion and be able to charge her with that, but hopefully we will find out more information about that very soon. Another thing that we discussed in the live was the solicitation charge. So they're talking about her basically making everybody zip their lips about the whereabouts of the children. Did their investigation really turn up some good juicy evidence? I'll be excited to find out. To further the things I was just talking about, here's a breakdown of the dates that she committed these crimes. First and foremost, the first thing of these charges that pops out to me is the last date that Tylee was seen and that would have been September 8th of 2019. This was literally a week and a half, two weeks before JJ was last seen. So there was a time when JJ would have been by himself with her, which is horrifying to think about. I don't even want to let my mind wander too much on that, but that date of September 8th, this is the first time we're seeing that, and that is terrifying. Going on to the resisting or obstructing officers and the criminal sol solicitation, those are dated November 26th of 2019, which was in fact the date of the welfare check. Those charges are in relation to her obstructing justice that day, you know, taken off leaving town the solicitation would have been the involvement of both chad and alex at her request to hinder this investigation and then of course the contempt of court which was january 30th of 2020 there is a link there at the bottom of the page i'm very familiar with searching court records and getting down into the nitty-gritty of stuff we do have a member of our community that did post this link in the in the comments section of the live that I did earlier. I didn't even think to provide this link so everybody could go and check whenever they whenever they wanted to, but the link is there. It will also be in the description box down below. You guys can check on this crazy bitch whenever your little heart desires. Now that we've determined what exactly her charges were, what the dates of the suspected crimes were, Let's go ahead and talk about what's going to happen next. Just after 9 o'clock tonight, not too long after we got off the live. So Lori Vallow is set to appear in court in Kauai tomorrow morning, February 21st. Kauai County prosecuting attorney Justin Collar says she can choose to be represented by counsel, waive extradition hearing, or proceed with the extradition hearing. The extradition hearing would be in a couple of weeks. If we've learned anything, this half of our favorite doomsday duo, she is going to drag her heels. She is not going to cooperate. She is going to make this as rough as possible. I do not see her waiving extradition. If she does, I would be shocked. I'm also curious to see if her divorce lawyer, and, and I keep saying that, and for those of you that don't know, Lori's current lawyer is actually a divorce lawyer out of Rexburg, Idaho. Lori's cousin, Melanie, she married a man named Ian the same time that Alex married Zulema. Ian was divorced in July of 2019. And guess who was his divorce lawyer? That's right, Lori's current lawyer, Sean Bartholick. I don't really see how this guy has the experience or the knowledge to be a criminal defense attorney because she's going to need some help if she's got a snowball's chance in hell to get anything reduced. Because right now, this woman is so rude. And I imagine that as the investigation continues and as time goes on, there will likely be more charges. These charges are focusing solely on Tylee and JJ. We still have three mysterious deaths and a ton of other things that have yet to be disclosed to the public. I'm thinking that a divorce lawyer is probably not the best choice of representation in a case this complex. Something else that I've complained about for a long time that's never happened. It's still not coming out of Idaho, but it is in fact coming tomorrow morning. Guess what we're getting, guys? We are giving ourselves a press conference. Of course, it's not coming from Idaho authorities. It is coming from Kauai Police Department. I assume will give us details of how the arrest went down. The tweet reads, Kauai PD will hold a press conference at 2 p.m. Hawaii time tomorrow, February 21st at headquarters. I am central time zone. Hawaii is four hours behind me. 
that means that this press conference will take place at 6 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. We will meet here at around 6 o'clock tomorrow night. I will do my best to find us a live stream that we can watch all together and we can chat as it goes along. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can re be reminded to join the conversation tomorrow evening. Unfortunately, not a lot of details came out tonight, but at the end of the day, all that matters is that the crazy brown on your screen is now, at least for tonight, spending the night behind bars. Like I said at the beginning, this is better than Christmas morning. I haven't been this excited about something probably since Christmas morning. Ah, uh, it's just a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of her arrest. What you think, what might happen tomorrow morning. Do you think she's going to waive extradition or do you think she's going to put up a fight? I've already told you what I think. Let's everybody get some rest. We will meet back here in the morning. We will find a live stream that we can, that I can stream for all of us to watch together. Until then, you guys take care of yourselves. Make good choices. See you when I see you. Bye.